Hi, this is Larry. I've um, tried to make a little drawing here of what we're talking about. We see um, on the uh, coordinate plane there, I have a little bit of the graph of y equals x squared and a little bit of the graph of y equals x from the origin to where those two functions intersect at 1, 1. So this is the region we're concerned about, the region bounded by those two curves. We're not really concerned with the rest of those graphs, but just this part. Now we see the um, cross sections of the solid perpendicular to the x-axis are squared. That means for any value x, the um, line segment connecting the two curves is the base of a square rising up off, rising above that figure. So the dimensions, well, let's look at that line connecting the two curves at the value x. The coordinates of the top of that line segment are x comma x, because y equals x. And the coordinates of the bottom of that line segment are, is, are x comma x squared, because y equals x squared at the, at, on the curve at the bottom. So the edge of that square has a length of x minus x squared. That's the y value of the top of that line segment minus the y value of the bottom of that line segment. And that is the edge of a square. So the area of the square is that squared. And if we look at this as a little sliver of the solid, the thickness of that sliver is dx. So the volume of this little sliver of our um, solid is x minus x squared squared dx. So we're going to take the integral of that through all the values of x that are possible, which are from 0 to 1. And that will be our volume. So we're going to actually multiply out the x minus x squared squared so that we end up with a just a series of integrals that we can do very easily. So we'll have x squared minus 2x cubed plus x to the fourth dx. So that's x minus x squared squared. x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus x squared. Oh, that's good. So when we do the integral, this is just a um, regular series of integrals. The integrals, integral of x squared dx is x cubed over 3. Let me get that looking a little better. x cubed over 3. The integral of negative 2x cubed is negative 2x to the fourth over 4, which is negative x to the fourth over two. And the integral of x to the fourth dx is x to the five over five. We're gonna evaluate that from zero to one. Make sure I didn't make a mistake here. x cubed over three, negative two x to the fourth over four, which is negative x to the fourth over two next five or five. Okay, good. So we see the second part of that when we evaluate this. We're going to subtract the evaluating all that at x equals zero, which is just going to be zero. So all we're concerned about is the first part. So let me put the equal signs in here. Of course, x to all those powers is just one. So it's one third minus one half plus one fifth. And um, you can go ahead and combine those and um, get the final answer. Okay, so I hope this makes some sense. I'm going to follow this question. So if you have a question or a comment for me, um, leave it here and I will see it. Thanks a lot.